This is Boomer Life on Sea Isle 650. is on my side. Well, it is in the life of a senior. It's uh, Boomer Life here on Sea Isle 650. A little Rolling Stones music for your Saturday. Jillian Fullerton and Kirsten Allenberg from Shannon Oaks and Baptist Housing are with us in studio. By the way, we haven't mentioned the website yet, so we just probably just take a second right here right now and sure. talk about Shannon Oaks Dot com. And if you go to ShannonOaks.com, uh, you, you have the option of clicking on either Shannon Oaks Vancouver or Shannon Oaks Victoria, and then you, you just follow along, and uh, you can take a look at both of them. Now, Kirsten, you worked over uh, on the island, so you're quite familiar with Shannon Oaks Victoria, which is newer than Shannon Oaks Vancouver, isn't it? It is. I think Shannon Oaks Victoria uh, was built in 2005. Right. Um very similar to the Shannon Oaks in Vancouver, you know, from, from an aesthetics and design point of view. And both of them have exceptional maintenance standards. So both of the buildings actually feel quite a bit newer than they are. Mm -hmm. um, but if you'd like to go in for a tour of Shannon Oaks, Victoria, um, their marketing manager there is Leo Martin. Okay. Um, you can give him a call at any point in time. Um, their phone number there. Dwayne, can, can, you, can, can there? you put up their uh, phone number for Shannon Oaks, Victoria, please? Now, Jillian, of course, has it memorized, but uh, I'm going to jump in anyway and say it's 250-595-6257. And if you missed it, it's at shannonoaks.com. Click on Victoria. Yeah. And Leo's number, the, the main switchboard, all of the email addresses for your marketing counterpart there and Absolutely. the administration staff, it's yeah. all on the website. And likewise, if you click on Shannon Oaks, Vancouver, you find out it's at 20. 526 Waverly Avenue, and the phone number Jillian has already given it, 604-324-6257, uh, and all of uh, you can contact Kirsten or Jillian. Your email addresses are on that website, as well as the switchboard and, and all the phone numbers. So uh, a, a very helpful website, and you get a chance to compare the two. If you're living on Vancouver Island, perhaps Shannon Oaks, Victoria makes a little more practical sense, sure. but have a, have a good look at both of them. Sure. And on the website, you'll see wonderful pictures of... Shannon Oaks, both Shannon Oaks, yes. so you'll be able to get a sense of what it's like, but you'll get the real sense when you come for lunch and a tour. Right, right. And do you, uh, and, and I know that it's a kind of a, it's a several stages involved. Usually the first stage is an email or a phone call, yeah. which leads to an appointment. Now that may be with the senior, it may more likely be with the boomer kids, maybe a combination, yeah. mom and, and one or more of her children. Uh, and then, then it goes from the uh, interview followed by a tour, and if you're really lucky, a little lunch on the side. Absolutely. And the next step after that, Jillian, assuming there's an interest level that's obvious, and oh, gee, you know, I, I, I could, I could live here. What we would recommend <laughs> at that so, point. So the next one is. We would recommend that the senior come for a complimentary trial stay. Right. And we would love to host them, to show them around, to introduce them to residents, take part in a variety of activities that we have, and just enjoy life. Put their toe in the water right. to see how mom or dad fit in, to see what it's like to share meals with people rather than eating alone in their home, right. to see what it's like to go on bus trips, to experience watching movies, not by yourself, mm -hmm. but with others, to come to concerts and enjoy concerts together. To join the choir. To join the choir. <laughs> or to come to exercise classes. That's now, right. Sharon Ginter, our activity manager, will get them going mm -hmm. and get them limbered up. So all of that, life at Shannon Oaks, is a new sort of new life experience. You're stepping into an exciting time of your life. It's not uh, negative, it's a positive because you are developing new friendships, new ways of life, and getting nutritious food and having some fun. That trial stay too is it's such a great way to actually interact with other people that live at Shannon Oaks right. and other people that have They've already walked the path that you're walking. They've already gone yeah. through the debating phase. They've been through. They've been the, the yeah. nervous newcomer. If anyone's got the best advice to give you, it's going to be those folks that you're eating lunch and dinner with. The folks sure. that are really introducing you to Shannon Oaks. Um, there's nothing like a personal testimony from your peers. What would a typical recommended uh, trial stay include? A couple of days, three days, a week. What What, what do you recommend based on your experience? Uh, three days is enough. Okay. If you really, if you want to do 
five days we could do that but i mean at three days is enough to get your toe in the water and right. understand it give you, you a know. sense yeah. of, of mm-hmm. you know and, and another uh, uh, negative uh, perhaps a myth in some ways uh, in going back to what we were talking about earlier about the home well the other <laughs> the flip side of that is um, they're going to put me somewhere where I'm, I'm going to forfeit my independence. I'm going to have every waking minute of every day micromanaged by some 21-year-old social director who, who, uh, <laughs> who, right. who is just not going to give me a moment of, of peace. Yep. And, and that, of course, again, you, you would have, you've both heard these before. But again, these are misconceptions about seniors' retirement living that still exist in 2015 the operative word here is choice we give you a variety of choices you can say we give you 10 choices you can choose one or none or all 10 that's choice right we're the richer we are when we have choice the more choices the richer we are basically and and that's what we offer you san Channel oaks is choices for a new lifestyle i think a lot of the feedback we get post move in so once uh, once a resident has already decided on shannon oaks and they've moved into the community um they often don't realize how much independence they lost by remaining in the house when they get to shannon oaks they really feel like you know now that i'm not having to worry about meals and housekeeping and some you know some of those other lifestyle supports they realize my goodness i have actually gained all of this independence back now i've got all this choice to do what i actually want to do throughout Mm -hmm. my days i get some of my enjoyment back but i'm really in the driver's seat i'm really in control now of how i spend my days rather than being mandated by all these different chores jillian i just the word is chores i just wrote on my sheet in front of me here lose Mm. the chores because you know and some people will tell you some seniors will tell you it's the it's the doing of the chores it's the repetition of that routine that keeps my wheels turning if i didn't have those to do gosh, I, I would probably just collapse uh, because they don't know any other option. That's right. I, often I will ask somebody that comes for a tour, can you describe for me your typical day? Right. And their typical day is getting up and having breakfast and doing their houseworking chores. Yes, right. And that mm-hmm. occupies their day. Well, life has to be richer than that. I mean, there's opportunity to make it richer. So wouldn't you want your mother to have a little bit richer life than just interacting with a duster and a TV screen? And yet some of those people will tell you, well, you know, this is this is my time of life to do this. I've had my exciting years. I've traveled the world. I've raised my family. I had a career. And now it's all behind me. And I guess this is, this is what life is now. For me, I, I do the chores. And that's when isolation sets in. That's when that isolation can be more detrimental to your health than if mom was a smoker all her life, mm-hmm. an alcoholic. The effects of isolation, they're just coming out now. It's, it's not good. And so to fight that, to bring them into a community, an enlivened community, in which they have that social interaction over meal times, mm-hmm. so they're not eating alone, that cup of tea and Tea and Biscuit. toast or yeah, whatever yeah, it might be. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. So they're having nutritious meals, interacting socially. You will find mum come alive. Mm-hmm. A new mum will come out of it. How many people, I'm sure Kirsten would agree, um, we have talked to and toured with, and they suffer from depression because of that isolation. Because they've just been so, uh, they've been so alone for yeah. so long, so they don't even know they're depressed. No, that's right. You're right. That's the thing about that's isolation. That's just the way life turned out. Yeah. Right? It, it was yeah. my turn to do the chores. Yeah. And we at Shannon Oaks will turn on those lights. Right. And they will come alive and experience a new lifestyle. One other thing, Kirsten, quickly before we take the break, and this is back to the financials again. And you mentioned something, and it kind of stuck in my head, and it just popped up now. Uh, the, the whole matter of inclusive, uh, inclusiveness or inclusion, the costs, uh, and as we boomers struggled with all of this information, this is all brand new to us too, uh, the, the whole seniors retirement community industry and all of the options that are out there, you learn very quickly, just even on the Internet, that not everybody does the same and in fact most companies do it differently by design and baptist housing and shannon oaks do it quite differently from many of their uh industry competitors in as much as it's all meals 
all the time, whereas other uh, uh, communities will have a budget for X number of meals beyond which you get billed uh, more dough. And this, of course, is, is a red flag for a lot of seniors. That's right. It's always a good question to ask when you are on tours is, is what is the meal plan? Is everything included? Right. And, and you're quite right. Shannon Oaks, Vancouver, and Victoria, um, it's three meals a day. So it's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It's coffee and tea time as well, 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And mm-hmm. it's always served with snacks and goodies. So never a shortage of food. And you're right. It's, it, it is inclusive. Right. And, and it isn't inclusive everywhere, is no. it? No. No. You're correct. It's not. So like I say, that is definitely one of the good questions to ask is, is how many meals are included on the meal plan? Right. Some will give you 20 meals a month. Right. And that doesn't cover everything, does it? I have more than 20 a month. Mm -hmm. Uh, Some will give you um, an allowance of, say, $300. And their restaurant, and you have that in their kind restaurant. Kind of a credit thing. That's right, right. Yeah. $300 credit. Right. That's right. Yeah. But the prices in the restaurant increase, but your your credit does the, not. Aha. Uh-huh. So it's becoming diminishing value to sure. you. Right. So it's, um, yeah, you have to look at that. We, do, we always recommend, and Kirsten does, I know, um, when you're touring, have a meal. Test it out. Absolutely. And look at the meal plan. Look at what you're getting. If you're getting all your meals, great. So let's look at that. If you're, you know, the quality of the meals, it's um, very important. There are so many things. Uh, I mean, we're, we're, we're talking about moving mom or dad or both into a seniors community. But for the person in the middle of all of this doing the learning so that the at least the case for the move can be presented effectively, there's a lot of information to take up and a lot. This oh. is a pretty steep learning curve yeah, here. Absolutely. So a lot of good questions. And that's what we try to do on this program is, is outline or define good, smart questions to ask on behalf of mom or dad when you're doing the legwork uh, inquiring about retirement community options. In today's world, it it really is all about being an informed consumer. Um, There's a lot of information out there, and I think one of the best ways to to sort of overcome and and uncover a lot of that is just to to get on the phone and, and make an appointment and come on in, come on in and see us. We're always happy to share resources as well as you go through the journey. Right. Um, anything that's available to us. I know Jillian as well, especially with 20 years of experience. Um, she's always happy to share um, just her knowledge of the industry, which is, mm. is great. Lots of information on the website, too. It's a great website, both Shannon Oaks, Vancouver, and Victoria. You go to shannonoaks.com, and from there, well, it's your choice, Vancouver or Victoria. Take a look at one of them while we take a quick time out here on Boomer Life on CL 650. Celebrating the baby boomer lifestyle. This is Boomer Life on CL 650.